last corner coming up and he was able to use the, uh, the DRS on the straight here. So you can see that blue light on his dash, that, uh, that gives the indication we're using DRS. Weber at this stage goes over to the right-hand side and just look how close that was between the two cars. I mean, this is what the team were talking about. They could see this going on and clearly weren't happy and clearly not sticking to team orders. Into turn one, Weber's obviously thinking, well, <laughs> I've had enough of this. I'm, I'm not gonna let you get away with this one and wheel-to-wheel uh, -wheel racing, fantastic around the outside, giving himself the, in the advantage around the inside. And then at this point here, I'll just wind that back. You can see he, he wants to finish the job off. He's looking in the mirror here just to see and guard Vettel. He knows where he is and he holds the inside line as Vettel now will ride back on board of him down towards that uh, turn four. Weber disappears out of view and he probably thinks it's job done, but as he turns in, there's Weber. He pops back into view and I think at this stage, Weber was a little bit kind on, on Vettel actually. He could have easily have just ran him out wide. I think that's what he would have done if Vettel wasn't his teammate, but at that stage was probably also thinking enough's enough, I'm just going to let you go. And open, he leaves him a gap at that stage and, uh, and allows his teammate to go past. Yeah, 